we'll see. Am I right? <laughs> um, okay, so we are going to be doing a get ready with me because I have been very behind on my vlogmas. I said that really freaking weird. Try that again. I've been really, really late on my Vlogmas videos, and um, I just kind of want to have a chit chat, get ready with me, you feels? So basically, I just got out of the shower. Me and my dad are going to go see that new movie, um, Mule, tonight. It comes out tonight, and he's been really wanting to see it, so we're going to go see that when he gets off work, and he gets off work at like 6.30, and then I think the movie starts at like 7.30, I'm not positive, but yeah, you get the, yeah. So. I'm all prepped and primed and moisturized and we're just ready for the makeup. So let's get right into it. Um, I'm not really sure what's going on right here, but we're gonna like do our best to cover it up. It's kind of like raw. I just popped the pimple that's there. It's like huge. It's a huge pimple. So we'll see what we can do with it. <laughs> no promises. You guys know the drill. Actually, you probably don't know the drill because I don't know if I've ever filmed with this foundation before. But I'm going to be using the Maybelline Superstay with my um, Denki Beauty Blender. You know, we cheap around here. Yeah. Um. Sorry I've been so late with like my Vlogmas videos. I have not been like deathly ill or anything like that, but like. I have um, endometriosis. If you guys don't know what that is, it's basically like um, uh, something that happens. I'm not really sure. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. But like a basic little description is it makes you cramp like, like you have the devil in your cervix and your uterus and just you know what I mean. So yeah. Um, that's what's been going on with me for like the past three days now and yesterday I could barely get out of bed so you feel me not really trying to film a video if I can't get out of my own bed I mean I know Hannah Maloche can like make videos on like how to stay up all night and it's like a good video but like me <laughs> not so much so guys I just got done um, blending this just like this cheek and chin part out and you need to get this if you don't have it because you can't even tell that that pimple is there like it literally covered so freaking good I'm impressed I'm very impressed okay so I just got done blending out my foundation now I'm gonna do concealer I just have my um Sorry, I keep going blank on you guys. My MAC Select Cover Up Concealer looks like this. I'm gonna be stepping up my game from here on out. Like, I'm still cramping really, really bad, but like, we're gonna get over it. We're gonna, you know, fight it. And we're just gonna like get done, basically. I'm really excited to start posting videos a lot and I know that you guys probably are too so we're gonna do it and this concealer is not very light but it's literally fine whatever yeah so like I did this all tanner like days ago and I like <laughs> I'm pale as a ghost again so like something is not right also I know you guys love my setup you know my little um vaporizer and um my Peppermint candle from Bath and Body Works. We just love that for us. Anyways, let's bake our face. Mm. When I bake, I usually only tend to like bake the spots that get like the most oily because um, if you know me, you know that I have like disgustingly oily skin. So like I have to like do my whole face, but I don't bake my whole face. Like, my chin gets pretty oily, but like, sometimes I don't like baking it because, I don't know, I feel like it gets cakey quickly. Okay, so I just got done wiping my bake off and concealing my eyes. Honestly, I have no freaking idea on why my eyelids are like, so creased i just like don't really get it but like whatever i'm only um 18 years old i just feel like personally 
you shouldn't have creasy eyelids this early on. And I am just not like this. Just why does this happen to me? I just don't get it. Every time I do my makeup, I have a powder problem. Every freaking time, it never fails. I always get it everywhere. Even when I don't mean to, it still gets everywhere. So like, I just rummaged through all of my stuff and I can't find my brush. I guess that Garfield the freaking ghost came and took my brush. Um, Garfield the ghost did not take my brush. I left it in the bathroom, so. I just got done um, bronzing and contouring my face. I like slightly bronzed it, not fully. And I know that you guys probably think that I'm freaking like disgusting because I use like the same products every single time um, I do my makeup and like I get it. But the thing is, um, I'm not like on any PR list or just like I don't have merch and I'm just kind of like a broke college student at um, its finest. So like when I hit pan, I like don't replace my product yet because like um, we, we get the best out of what we have. Um, that's my motto. So like if you don't like that, I'm sorry. Um, also, if you don't like that, then maybe you should subscribe to my channel and I can get put on a PR list and, um, get more makeup. Um, this is not acceptable. You need to stop. I keep forgetting that I have black hair now and, like, I keep trying to fix my brows every time I make them too dark. But in reality, like, I can have my brows dark. Like, they can literally be black if they wanted to be because my hair is black and... Do you get it? Now that I have my face makeup done, I'm going to go ahead and set it. This is the Avon True Color um, Makeup Setting Spray. And we're going to see how it works, okay? <laughs> It was like a nice mist. I just took my towel down because it kept like falling on my head. I've been watching James Charles a lot recently and um, I'm inspired to do like a good look because I really haven't done like a good eyeshadow look by myself um, in a long time. So we're gonna give it a shot and see what happens. And um, if it fails, it fails. If it looks good, then it looks good. That's just what we're gonna go with. We're just gonna work with our Morphe 350. So I think that I'm going to go for like a maroony um, kind of smoky eye and it kind of fades into like a brown. So I'm going to go in with um, this shade right here and we're just going to kind of pack that onto the crease. Or we're just going to pack that onto the lid, not the crease. Honestly, you can kind of be as messy as you want with this because you are going to be like blending it up and like into your crease. So I just got done doing my makeup. This is kind of like a vampy look almost, like if you will. I'm going to take my setting spray and I'm just going to spritz this brush real quick. And then I'm going to take like a light shade, which is right here. And I'm just going to put that right onto like the halo-y section of my eyelid. So I just got my lashes on. I'm going to go ahead and put some mascara on. I feel like one set of eyelashes always looks better than the other, but it's fine, whatever. Alright guys, this is going to be the final look. I really hope that you all enjoyed watching this um, get ready with me, like chit chat get ready with me. Um, it wasn't really a chit chat, it was kind of just, you know, whatever it was. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it, whatever it was. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!